Welcome. Welcome to Birth Journey Through the Seasons. I'm Mika Rock, Montreal doula and hypnobirthing childbirth educator, coming to you from Montreal streets. As, uh, yeah, it's a plus one here today, so it's kind of mild, but my nose is still really red. <laughs> But that's because I've been walking for a while before starting this live. And today, today I'm going to explore with you on this walk, core breath, well, how it can benefit, how it can benefit you during labor and birth. But before I dive in to uh, talking about that, I want to go back to the last two walks that I did and say that core breath has a certain complexity to it and as we build this up I hope that um, you you understand more and more how to integrate this into your own body and to make this relevant to you so uh, in our first exploration in the first walk I talked about the patterns of breathing just being aware of how our body and our internal organs move when we're breathing specifically the breathing diaphragm and then once we realize how the breathing diaphragm gently pulls up with every exhale and releases back down with every inhale we can start to integrate the pelvic floor movement that uh, when our core is on and functioning this will arrive and arise automatically and naturally but uh, for most of us, this core connection has been lost over the years. Or if we've given birth, often the core turns off. Um, and here's where core breath becomes such a phenomenal practice because it helps us turn the core back on. So uh, after understanding this dynamics between the pelvic floor and the breathing diaphragm, where core breath is all about the synchronization of them. So as we inhale, we release and soften into the pelvic floor. And as we exhale, we gather, engage, collect the pelvic floor together with that movement of the breathing diaphragm. So same direction, in sync. And then in, in my last walk last week, we were exploring the full range of this movement with the breath. And today I want to add that the core four, the core four groups of muscles all integrate into the breath. So let's take a moment and talk about the core four again. We're talking about the pelvic floor group of muscles. We're talking about the deep stomach muscle, the transverse abdominis or the TA, which is like a belt under our navel in the most deepest layer of our abdomen. Um, and then, in the deepest layer of muscles of our abdomen, I'll just add. Uh, and then the multifidus, which are the core muscles of our spine. And, and this is where core breath becomes even more interesting. And because um, it affects how, how we move around in the world. It affects our posture. Because when we breathe with our core, we are creating this length through the multifidus, through the core muscles of the spine, all the way up to the crown of the head and into the sky. And, and this is the place where we're both grounding with every inhale. And from that grounding, we exhale and find length through the core, all the way up to the sky or the ceiling, wherever you are. <laughs> so this is really just to understand this full body breath, core breath. And in the last weeks of pregnancy, as, as you approach the time of giving birth, having this as a daily practice will benefit you in labor. And as I will talk next week, how it can also help you in, in postpartum, in those first hours, days, weeks after giving birth, as your baby baby is now out and <laughs> your body is not pregnant anymore and how how core breath can be so supportive of that 
huge change that our bodies go through. But today I want to focus on labor and birth. So in labor, our bodies know how to breathe. I'm just going to say that again. In labor, our bodies know how to breathe. And all the techniques and all the different options that are out there for breathing during labor, they become beneficial when we feel that we're not coping or when we feel that we've lost the connection with our body and, and we need that extra, extra support. So core breathing can become really beneficial in labor because core breath in its own is a deep diaphragmic breath where we fully engage the range of the diaphragm. So if at any moment in labor, our breath is shortened or constricted, having core breath in your practice will allow you to very, almost automatically, like very naturally, to go into deep breathing with your body. And a few words on deep breathing and labor. When we take deep breaths, we bring in a lot of oxygen into our lungs. And this oxygen travels through the blood to all the organs and cells of our body, including the uterus that needs a lot of oxygen during labor because it's really it's doing a lot of work there. Um, and, and when we are filling our lungs to full capacity with oxygen, we're also helping our babies get more oxygen. So with every inhale during labor, as we deepen it, we are actually supporting our bodies and our babies. Breath is such an amazing practice as it bridges between mind and body. And if at any moment during labor, we feel that we need to come back to be present more in the moment, to be present more in the body, just by focusing on the breath, we're back. We are back in the moment and we are back in our bodies. And as we do that, the benefit that shows up is that we relax because our nerve system relaxes and moves from fight and flight mode into a rest and digest mode. And that's really what deep breathing does. And, and if you wish, you can take a deep breath now. Maybe one more. And just feel what this does to your body, to your awareness. I just noticed how my body became a little softer. And just that, just that little change can really transform a labor. It sounds funny, but <laughs> as a birth to life, I've seen it many times. It's that shift, sometimes so subtle, that can help us come back come back to relaxing, come back to being present in whatever is showing up for us in the moment. So core breath during labor is a great practice to deep breathe. And now comes the really interesting part of, our, of my walk today. I'm crossing the street, which is always interesting while doing a live. <laughs> but as I'm crossing the street, I'm also crossing into talking about core breath in the second phase of labor, and in the second phase of labor, core breath can allow us to have this connection with the pelvic floor, which is fundamental and so amazingly transformative if we have this brain to muscle connection as we're birthing our babies, because it means that we have more control over our pelvic floor muscles. And, and this is something that has been realized for a while now. Our brains have this amazing capacity of plasticity where through our lives we can create new neurological connections. And as we practice core breath in pregnancy, we're actually starting this path and this connection between brain to the muscles of the pel pelvic floor. And as we do that, and the more we do that, that path becomes a highway where this connection strengthens and, and becomes more something that comes with ease, where we can, during this phase when we breathe out our babies, when the expulsion reflex is engaging in our bodies, 
are ready to birth our babies, then having this connection with the pelvic floor will allow you to slow down. Slow down the emergence of the baby. And in those last moments of, of birth there where the baby is born and the perineal muscles, if they are soft and supple, if they give, if they are elastic in those moments, this can go a long way and help prevent tearing. So this is where it becomes interesting. And with the birth givers that I've supported who have practiced core breath, who have this integrated into their body, I've received lots of feedback that during this heightened moment where a baby is just emerging, they have more control and connection and they're able to do that slowing down of the moment and allowing the perineal muscles to slowly unfold. So in the last weeks of pregnancy, the focus in your core breath practice is going to be more on the inhales. As you inhale and relax the pelvic floor, finding softness and suppleness. And maybe it will be surprising for you to hear, but for most of us, relaxing these muscles is, is the part that is a bit tricky. So I'll tell you another tip here, pro tip, that to relax a muscle, it all often, or it physiologically makes just uh, sense, this is how our bodies work, that to relax a muscle, we need to engage it first. And, and that's the beauty of core breath, which is really so much more than Kegels. It's this amazing full range practice that invites connection between brain and pelvic floor, which allows us to connect with this unseen part of our bodies. It's dynamic and flexible, yet creates inner stability and ease in the body. So I hope the benefits of core breath and labor and birth will allow you to explore this. And if you are pregnant now, I would love to hear from you. And if this shows up as something that supports you in your birth, please drop me a line. You can find me on Mika Rock Doula on my business page on Facebook or Mika Rock Doula on Instagram. You can find me on my website, mikarock.ca, and you can always write me an email to info at mikarock.ca. So I think you get the picture. Uh, if you do something with Mika Rock, I think you'll, you'll find me. Um, so I'll complete my live for today with uh, saying that I'm super excited about next week because poor core, core breath, in um, the early hours just after giving birth is the first, if, yeah, it is one of the first practices that you can start doing um, in a very gentle way, it, connecting back to your body, noticing the changes and starting to support the healing. Moving from being pregnant, stepping into motherhood, and in those moments, taking that time for yourself to take a few breaths, connect with yourself, see what's there for you. And I can promise you one thing, that every day you practice, you're gonna discover new things because we constantly change and our bodies constantly give us more information that if we listen, there's so much there for us to learn about ourselves, our relationship about ourselves, and our relationship with our environment, with the world, with our loved ones, with our community. So I'll just say that uh, this pandemic is long and uh, today 
more and more rules are put in here in Quebec and Montreal as curfews and restrictions are piling up. So, um, yeah, connect. Find your way to move through this time. And maybe a few core breaths a day can make a difference for you as they do for me. Much love.